Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Tech Services. This is Brian, and we have another cool video for you. So, on this video we're going to show you how to reinstall the operating system on a fiery image controller. What you will need for this is a flash drive, fiery software in ISO format, the fiery USB tool, and a working fiery. So, let's get started. All right, like I said in the intro, you're going to need a Fiery USB tool that you can download from the Fiery website. Then you will need the Fiery software in ISO format that you can get by asking around online. Go ahead and install the Fiery USB setup tool, just how you would any other program. And once it finishes installing, we're going to go ahead and boot that program up. Now go ahead and open the Fiery USB Setup Tool. Then you're going to want to drag your Fiery.iso file right on over to the program. You can see here, that's me dragging the file right on over. Now go ahead and insert your USB stick and make sure it's correct and hit Next. That will format the USB stick and allow it to be a bootable drive for the Fiery. Now that we're all done, go ahead and eject the USB stick and head over to the copier. Alright, next up we're just going to print the configuration page and the font list for the PostScript and PCL fonts. This step is not necessary, but it's just best practice to go ahead and have this information. You may need it when reloading fonts. All right, now that we have all the pages we need, we can go ahead and begin the installation. Okay, so first things first, go ahead and power down the copier. Power down the Fiery by holding the green button for 10 seconds. Now disconnect all the cables from the Fiery. Once all the cables are disconnected, go ahead and move the dip switch to the left, labeled 1, to the on position. Now place in your bootable USB stick and power on the Fiery. Now that the Fiery has been powered on, you're going to wait anywhere from 6 to 20 minutes for it to complete. You will see the numbers every 30 seconds increment up from 1, 2, 3, 4. It will continue all the way until it's finished. When the Fiery software is finished, the Fiery will turn off like so. When this happens, go ahead and pull the USB drive out and turn the dip switch number 1 back to the off position. Now that this is complete, go ahead and power the Fiery back on. Once it boots up fully, make sure you have double zeros on the display screen. Once you have double zeros, you can go ahead and power off the unit and install it back in your copier. Okay, once the unit's installed, wait for the info menu and you should be good to go. Print a configure test page if you would like. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.